Hi guys, welcome to Arwen Technology. Um, today I'm going to record my video chapter 3 of the Synology installation. Um, in this video I will show you guys how you can install the disk manager of Synology to your brand new Synology 115G. Um, first of all we have to go to the website of Synology where we can download all the required software and the operating system. Um, you have to click support, download sender. First of all you have to select the type of your Synology NAS. In my case this is a one bay NAS as I'm having the 115G. And also select here the model you have. Okay. Here you can find all the software that Synology is providing to you to use with your NAS. Um, the ones we need uh, are the operating system as you can see here but also the Synology Assistant that helps you to configure your operating system. Later on I will also show you how to use CloudStation, the PhotoStation uploader but that will be in different videos. Okay, my packages are downloaded now. First of all, we have to install the Synology Assistant. I've downloaded the software for my Mac because I have a MacBook Pro. Um, for Windows it's almost the same step. So you have to download the Synology Assistant and the operating system and you have to run the Assistant to install the OS. Now let's start the Synology Assistant. The Synology Assistant will now look in my network for all the Synologies that I have. Um, as you can see I also have one other Synology, it's a 412 Plus. Uh, it's already installed so I, I will not uh, do anything with that, with that now. But this one, the disk station, is the one that I've just installed. Um, so I want to install the operating system now on the Synology 115G. It will now ask for the um, operating system that we've just downloaded. Um, it's the .pat file, so you have to browse for the file. Like I did, the downloads map, as you can see here. Open, press next. Here you have to fill in the admin password. Remember it because if you forget it you have a big problem. You can also change the name of your device. In my case I use Erwin NAS02. These are your network configurations. You can use the DHCP. Um, if you like that the NAS will get a automatically a IP address from your router. Um, I would suggest that you use a manual um, IP because then you always know what kind of number it is. Um, is the, if the NAS goes off for a long time and uh, your release of your DHCP um, expires, then you will get probably another number and you can't find your NAS very easy anymore. So I would always suggest to use a static IP. Um, these ones are all correct. It depends a little bit on the configuration of your own router. If you use a different uh, subnet or different IP range, then you should um, use the correct ones for your computer network. Okay, it's going to format the system partition and install the operating system now. This will take some time, so um, grab yourself a cup of coffee or something and come back in a few minutes. The installation is now complete. We can click on close. And as you can see, um, the status is now ready. 
the server name is uh, the name that we've configured the IP address is like we filled in and now we can connect to the device here you can see the login screen of your Synology um, first of all we have to fill in the admin account that we've created when we installed the software we use the password we filled in you can select to remember me if you like we have to fill in some steps now it asks for the update settings I suggest that you use the latest version automatically because there are a lot of um, Synology updates um, that fixes security issues but also new um, features so it's always nice to have the latest version of Synology I would not use the beta versions as I have uh, had some um, bad experiences with them crashed volumes, uh, crashed software so I would use the latest uh, version that Synology has as a final version and if we select this um, it will install automatically the latest version you can keep the schedule the same If you like, you can use a quick connect ID. Um, I use uh, as, uh, an own DNS uh, to connect to my Synology, but the quick connect ID is a simple way to connect to your Synology um, NAS without uh, configuring a DNS record or um, port forwarding. So I would suggest that you use this um, if you don't have the expertise in networking. I already have an existing DS account so I will use that and you have to use a uh, UNIC quick connect after we've created the quick connect ID it will ask to install some packages um, I will skip this step now because I will go further inside the packages on later videos we're all set let's go it gives some tips now um, I will not use them and I don't want to see them every time I log in Thank you for watching, take a further look at my YouTube channel Arwen Technology and I hope to see you guys later. Let me know what you think of my videos and if you have any suggestions or requests for videos, please let me know. Have a nice day, bye bye.